Um, is, is, it, is it on? Uh, okay, all right, here we go. My cousin's house. So when we were much younger, my brother and I would occasionally go to my cousin's house to go visit, which was super exciting for us because it was four other kids to play with and a lot to do. So yeah, these are four other kids that had their own unique gifts and talents that my brother and I got to share with them. In addition, they had a pool, huge garden to play in, a lot of rooms, a lot of dogs, and a bunch of video games which my brother and I did not have at that particular point in our lifetime. Also, something very important, they had something called a generator, which is kind of an important thing in Nigeria given that there are a lot of rolling blackouts. But that's a story for later. So fortunately, this particular occasion, we actually got to stay the night and it was time to go to bed. So, you know, I had to get my teeth brushed. Of course, I went to go grab the toothpaste, put it on the toothbrush and proceeded to brush my teeth. At which point I realized something wasn't right. In fact, actually something was terribly wrong, like very wrong. Have you guys ever used toothpaste? But not just any toothpaste. Like, it's called peroxide kind of toothpaste. Usually it would have the label on it, baking soda. Um, it's supposed to be healthier for you. At least that's what my mom said, and a few other people said, and a few dancers said that it's actually a better alternative. But it's not minty. It tastes very bland, very rough, and actually tastes not just, actually not bland, it's kind of nasty. It's, 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 it's nasty toothpaste. It's. I don't know if any of you can relate, but that was the toothpaste it was. And of course, a lot of toothpaste manufacturers make their own lovely brand of baking soda, disgustingness toothpaste for you to just gag and choke on. Well, like I said, this was that toothpaste. I realized that was the toothpaste that my cousins had available, and that's what I was using. I wasn't pleased, but this was the worst tasting baking soda type toothpaste I had ever tasted in my life. Like seriously, what the actual crap is this? It's na it was nasty. It was it was terrible. I was I was very shocked at how disgusting this toothpaste was. I couldn't believe that it could actually get this bad, but apparently it can. It can get that bad. Anyway, I know it's healthier for me and I know it can be used, so, you know, it was just time to suck it up and just brush my teeth. But unfortunately, that kind of went something like this. <coughs> oh my gosh, it's so hot. Oh. Anyway, the deed was done. I had brushed my teeth. They did feel better, you know, they did feel clean, so I was happy, but I was not pleased at the ordeal I had to go through. So at this particular point in time, I come into my cousin's room, I was like, yo, dude, that was some nasty toothpaste that you guys have. Don't you have regular mint toothpaste? I was looking for another alternative toothpaste. There was no toothpaste there. You only have the nasty, very disgusting baking soda toothpaste. And he was like, hmm, that's, that's kind of strange. I mean, which toothpaste did you use? So of course I proceeded to tell him which one I used, I told him, you know, Veet. At this particular point in time, he had this kind of perplexed look on his face. And I was like, what? He was like, what did you say? I said, Veet. He kind of looks at me for a while and he just says, dude, yeah. That was hair removal cream. Ah. 